Hello, today we are going to do some cooking. I thought I'd put together a video where I just jam pack it with high protein snack ideas. The reason for this is I honestly feel like when I review food diaries and all that sort of thing, like that's just part of my regular week's work, protein is typically the hardest macronutrient for people to hit. It's gonna help with training, it's gonna help with recovery, it's gonna help you feeling full, and it does help with overall body composition as well. I also have a blog with a whole heap of recipes. I provide macronutrient breakdowns of everything on there. It's called Eat Run Lift. It's linked in the description box and there's a whole recipe index on there for you where you can scroll through and get heaps of ideas for your meals. First off, we are starting with a Greek yogurt parfait. I wanted all of these recipes to be quite easy to put together and things that you could take with you to work or if you go out or something as well. So what we're gonna do for the first one is we're taking a low-fat Greek yogurt. If you're dairy-free, you can also find some coconut yogurts which have a bit of protein in them. Look for a lower-fat, lower-sugar version. And then we're gonna top it with whatever we like. So typically I would say to add in some chia seeds, some blueberries or strawberries or even raspberries. And then you could also put some pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds on top as well. And they're great for the texture. It's incredibly easy to make and you can pack it either all mixed together or keep the ingredients separate and combine them when you need. Okay, while we're on the yogurt topic, I'm gonna give a savory idea as well. So instead of using a vanilla or like a strawberry yogurt, take a plain Greek yogurt, and then you can put some dill in it, you can put some lemon juice, and what we're gonna do is chop up some veggies to serve with it and use it as a dip. So you could use like carrots, celery, things like that, because vegetables are great for snacking on. They're typically a good source of fiber. Awesome for getting some extra vitamins into your day, but on their own, they're not very filling. So if you prefer savory, try this as an option, it will help keep you way more satisfied between meals as well. I don't know about you guys, but I really love crunchy textures. Like I love savory, crunchy, and salty. That's my, my thing. I really enjoy that. So for me, something I really like to incorporate is corn thins or rice cakes, as some of you might call them. If you watch the video where I swapped diets with Mitch, you'll know that one of the meals I made him have in the afternoon was something that I would typically have, except he made it, he had like the most boring version possible. So I like to have tuna on corn thins. Now, when you're buying tuna, make sure you really look at the nutrition labels. Some of them can have as little as nine grams of protein and some of them as much as 15 or 16 grams of protein. And this will typically depend on the flavor of tuna that you buy. So I'll put the tuna on the rice cakes and then I'll also put tomato on top and something like pepper or even salt on top as well. And that for me satisfies those things where it's, it's savory, it's crunchy and it's salty. This is a really quick little one and it's to incorporate some peanut butter. So this will obviously help get you covered with some healthy fats as well. So I like to have peanut butter with some carrot sticks as you might've seen in some of my like full day of eating videos. You could also put it with celery. You could put it with corn thins like we were mentioning before There's heaps of different options So if you want some fats and some protein to feel really full you can add in some peanut butter An option that you could prep in advance is roasted chickpeas. Now, I think these are great either with salt or something like paprika on top is really delicious as well. A good tip for when you're baking them is to soak them beforehand, put them on a tea towel, and actually rub the skins off the chickpeas prior to baking them. They're really high in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. They're great for your digestion, and they are high in protein. Another option that I like to suggest to clients, particularly if they have a bit of a sweet tooth, is to go for some cottage cheese and add some fruits on top. And if you don't find it sweet enough, you could add some erythritol or a tiny bit of natvia. If you don't know what erythritol is, it's this white powder. It is a sweetener. It's only about 70% as sweet as sugar, but it does not spike your blood sugar. The cottage cheese is also quite high in protein and we add some fruits just to make it tasty. Let's make some popcorn at home. So we don't want to have oil, we don't want to have butter on it because we're not trying to overload with fats. We're trying to get some protein. And I know you're like, 
that popcorn doesn't have any protein and it doesn't it's the toppings that we put on it afterwards if you eat dairy you can put some parmesan on top because a serving of parmesan will have about 10 grams of protein for you or if you're vegan or even if you just want to try it you can top your popcorn with some nutritional yeast so if you like cheesy flavors give this one a go grab some popcorn cook it up at home and finally we're gonna make a little snack pack um, this is something that I like to do as well, especially if I'm going to be out a lot of the day. And normally if I pack meals, I'll just pack a little ice block with it as well to keep everything cold. But you can assemble a little container. So something that I would like to combine is I would take a cheese, because cheese is high in protein, some boiled eggs, some almonds, and then I also like to have some celery sticks in there as well, because I just find like... Between the cheese and the eggs, the celery sticks add a bit more moisture back. And everything that you pack in that lunchbox is quite easy to eat. Like nothing requires you to bring like a fork or a spoon or anything like that. It's just stuff that you can grab and eat it as is. I feel like I'm always leaning on my kitchen bench. Like if I stand, it's just, it's not a nice angle. So we'll, we'll lean down. Good thing it's clean. All right, so there are some really, really simple ideas for you. Pretty much all of them are packable. So you can take them with you if you go out, just pack an ice block with you to keep it cold. Alrighty, I'm gonna leave you guys here. And oh wow, I have so many hairbands today. There's normally like one or two. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'll catch up with you in my next video. And if you want to, feel free to come on over and say hi on Instagram. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.